welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Philip DeFranco. And I'm Joe Beretta. And this is our first video for 20 minutes or less, our Monday to Friday news show, where we give you news as it happens or as it matters to us, so you can take it and consume it and take it in and do all that stuff that you're gonna do. The first story of the day is based on a recent study done by the National Institute of Mental Health. So many times drugs are made for one purpose, but used on the streets for another. I.e. Adderall being speed for people without ADHD, or Viagra being the happy blue pill for people that don't need the happy blue pill. Well that is very much the case for ketamine, known as Special K on the streets, was originally used on the war front, but is predominantly used in veterinary clinics. The drug is known to cause intense hallucinations in humans, which is basically why it's called Special K on the street. Special K has made an intense hit on the partying and raving scene because it's known to give the user a euphoric feeling immediately after use. Well now the party drug is coming back in a very different way, meaning that they are testing the drug out as an intense antidepressant. The idea is that the drug will work immediately instead of having the other regular antidepressants, Prozac and Zoloft, take up to a week or two months. It kind of makes you wonder why they didn't make this connection sooner. I mean, with the benefits associated with this, it makes you think about other drugs, like what kind of benefits might ecstasy hold? You mean aside from making someone extra gropey at Burning Man? Yeah, and putting holes in your brain. Yeah. Well, I think the idea of this is awesome. I mean, we all know that scientifically, depression is linked to chemical imbalances. And when we get to those lows, we get extremely low. I mean, the idea of there being an immediate fix has some promise. Sure, it's just a party drug, but it could actually help prevent people from harming themselves or even stop depression-related suicide. Not to mention that the mental health industry is a $20 billion a year industry. Upon further study, if it's deemed safe, this could potentially be a safer, cheaper antidepressant for lower-income families. And it gives those low-income people an opportunity for a better life. I know there's debate constantly about depression and, and mental illness and all those different things. Some people say that you should change your mindset, and some people say that drugs are the way to go. But the fact is, is we all deserve a better life and 20% of the world suffers from mental illness. So that being said, what do you guys think? Do you think we should constantly explore the different uses of drugs to make people's lives better? Or do you think that depression is something that can be handled on your own? Let us know what you guys think down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and hit the annotation for more stories of the day. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. Thanks, guys.